Thank you, Duran Duran. Half hour to the half hour. This is Radio 2. We're on the BBC Sounds app on your smart speaker and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at six o'clock. This is Justine Green. The Supreme Court has rejected the latest application from the parents of Archie Battersby to stop his life support being turned off. The justices reaffirmed a decision by the Court of Appeal that the 12-year-old's care should be stopped. In the past few minutes, Archie's mother, Holly Dance, said she's very disappointed. I did stay old fights with a bitter end with Archie and as his mum, that's exactly what I've done. And I hope I've paved the way for any other parents that want to go up against um, a trust in this country and the justice system. It needs reforming, dramatically needs reforming. It's, it's not right, it's not fair, it's not right. A man who was arrested in the grounds of Windsor Castle on Christmas Day has been charged with treason. Just once Singh Chayil has also been charged with making threats to kill and possession of an offensive weapon. The Chinese government has said it will launch targeted military actions in response to the arrival of the US politician Nancy Pelosi in Taiwan. China regards the island as a breakaway province. Margaret Macmillan, a historian professor at the University of Oxford, is concerned. Let's hope it isn't one of those historic moments when we all look back and say, oh, that really was the beginning of something. Of course she has a right to go to Taiwan if she wants. I wish she'd done it and then we'd heard about it. I think the Chinese might have reacted better. I think what we have to ask ourselves now is what is the Chinese government going to do? And will it change their stance, among other things, on Ukraine? Um, you know, the Chinese have not condemned the Russian invasion of Ukraine, but they have not sold them weapons. I wonder if that will change. At the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, England have claimed three more gold medals in the gymnastics. Jake Jarman won his fourth gold of the competition in the men's vault before Alice Kinsella triumphed in the women's floor final. England's Joe Fraser, who won his third gold of the Games in the men's parallel bars ahead of his teammate Gianni Regini Moran, said he was proud to lead home an English 1-2. We've got Lion on our leotard and on our chest, so I guess I feel pride. I feel pride. I'm proud to say that I managed to deliver a routine out there alongside someone I consider as my brother, Gianni. You know, it's his birthday today and we both went out there, gave our all and managed to walk away with the one and two. So, yeah, honestly, incredible. Earlier, Wales won their second gold medal of the Games in the men's pairs bowls. England took silver and Scotland bronze. A swimmer in Cornwall has been bitten by a shark. The woman, who was snorkelling with a group off the coast near Penzance, was rescued by the Coast Guard and treated for an injury to her leg. She described what happened as scary, but said it had been amazing to see blue sharks in the wild and didn't want to tarnish their reputation. And the weather, a mix of cloud and clear spells through tonight. It will be dry in the east, but western parts may see some rain. And that's the BBC News. It's three minutes past six. Justine, thank you very much. Someone by your side to sing Life's a happy song When there's someone by your side to sing along We are by your side till 7 o'clock And then Joe is here with a shiny happy playlist As well as team from James King about his film choices Tonight's NPD Hi Sarah, it's Jen from Aylesbury and Bucks I am having fish pie and vegetables Followed by lemon cheesecake and cream tonight for my dinner I have my friends Sue and Catherine coming over. Oh, Thank they're, you. They're a lovely couple. That sounds delish, Jen. Tomorrow on breakfast, a lioness, Alicia Russo, chatting to Zoe. Of course, about England's Euro win. And then, what are they going to do next year at the World Cup? Go on. Yeah.